today I want to talk about a few things that I've been changing. First off, let's take a look at the new studio. S studio. I upgraded the, uh, the storage around here because I wanted something that would be more functional. I'm a big person on organization. I like easy access, don't have to think about it. Less clutter, less things on the mind. I wanted things that would inspire me at close reach. So that's what all of this behind me is all about. Allowing me to have more freedom and space here on the desk so this can just be all about producing. Something else that I've been doing for, for about two to three months now, uh, I've decided to switch up my direction. I've been putting out beats every single day, posting them onto my IG because I just wanted to take the challenge to grow as a producer, to build a workflow. And this challenge has been very vital for me. Within this time, I've enhanced my ability to put out a beat very quickly, also to be able to increase the overall level of quality to make that more consistent. That came from things such as figuring out a workflow for how I go about approaching a beat. And I don't mean like, oh, we start with drums, more so what are the fundamentals I need to put into a beat and recognizing when I need to make an exception to that rule because this beat, you know, doesn't really need chords and a top line. It really just needs a top line because of the style of the beat. But I've been talking to many producers who keep reminding me because I write, because I also rap, that I have this advantage that they don't have because they're, they've never been an artist themselves. And they keep reminding me, I wanna write songs. So the big change that I've been focusing on this month has been around creating songs. What I've been doing is building either a whole beat or even just a skeleton of a beat and then writing some type of a song to it with the intention that at the end of this month and every month throughout this year, I'm gonna put out a song to Spotify, to SoundCloud, Apple Music, everywhere. One of my own songs, something of my own creation that I produce, that I write, that's you know me as an artist, so that I'm sharing that with the world that you know not only do I produce but that I create full songs behind the scenes where you won't see it there'll be many you know half songs and maybe even full songs that I'll be writing for myself and for other people really just taking it from not just making some beats but making full songs and full concepts because that's where I really want to be is you know creating entire pieces of music now this does mean that there does have to be a change. You know, when you decide to move a new direction, sacrifices have to be made. I, I don't got unlimited time, you know. I have a full-time job as a front-end web developer, girlfriend, I have an apartment, I have responsibilities. What I've decided to do was to take away from the daily beat production. It's not that I'm not still making beats um, or using that process or still putting out a good amount of volume, but I'm not putting them out every day on IG like I was. And a lot of that is because the problem that I ran into when I started to focus on writing songs is that producing the beats, you know, there's a certain level of flourish that you have to have when you're putting out a daily beat video every single day, you know, to Instagram. A lot of that would get in the way of the song idea. I would say lay down some drums and I'm just a melody, no bass, no nothing else. And I would start writing to it, but then I'd be like, you know, it'd be like 11 o'clock and I'm like, do I finish this beat up so I can post it so people can see it? Or do I focus on writing the song? And what's more important? And in my opinion, I want to get the song done. I want to work on that idea because that's an energy that if I lose it, I'm not going to get it back later. Additionally, I could add more to that, that piece of music and it not be the actual direction the song would have gone and then I'm in a conflict. You know, I've put out 59 of beats in this 365 challenge and I hate to say that I'm not going to go all the way in 365 uh, in terms of what I'm posting online. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm not going to make 365 beats. You know, don't even worry about that. You know, I'm, I have one more beat to put out because I wanted to hit 60 uh, as, a, as a nice even number to end on so I'll be posting that at some point probably right after this video goes out Right now, I'm almost done. The first song is coming out at the end of this month. Uh, I got all my recordings done. My buddy who's on the, the track with me is coming back tomorrow and we'll be recording the, uh, uh, re-recording his verse. Uh, Cause something, I got some really good feedback 
uh, a while ago when I went to Pass the Ox in Toronto that Illmind hosted. And you've seen this in many of his videos if you follow his channel. If you do not have your lyrics completely, fully memorized before you record them, you're not gonna get the best performance. Something I did for this recording and my buddy's doing as well is we will write our verse and I record a reference version of that verse. Just something to like get a feeling on it. Then I spend a day practicing it, like acapella, singing along with my music, whatever. And then I'll come back and record on another day. There are small things you miss out on. For instance, the ability to inflect or add uh, intention behind words because you're thinking about, oh, I gotta get to the end of this verse versus thinking about what every word means while you're saying it. When you're rushing, especially in rap, you get very breathy and it comes across in your recording. When you have memorized it, because you're not anxious, you have a clarity that comes out of your voice that's, that's fantastic. That's something that we're going to be capitalizing on tomorrow when he comes back and, and has had time to really, you know, memorize that verse. I'm excited for you to hear the song. You know, maybe I'll play a little preview on the outro just so you can hear a little bit of it. Just a rough version for now. You know, more to come on that song because, uh, well, it's gonna be coming out early April. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for today. It's just kind of an announcement, just kind of talking about, you know, shifting directions. You know, it's important that, uh, you know, I think that that kind of message gets shared because you never know, like you might be on a path and you want to pivot. And is it a failure? No, you're pivoting towards the goal. And that's what's important. So I'm just focusing on what's important for me to hit the goals that I'm really trying to achieve. That, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe, hit the comments, hit the alert button too while you're at it. Have a good one. Peace. We go. Get it on, get it on, get it on where you is. Cause I wanna be, wanna be, wanna be where you live. We go. Get it on, get it on, get it on where you is. Cause I wanna be, wanna be, wanna be where you live Yo, I don't know if you'll condone it